Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. So what are we doing today? Well, we're having a little bit of fun with the dynamics. It's been a while, so hey, why not, right? Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a marble and we're going to have a marble run through, uh, you know, a kind of a sequence of events, if you will, right? So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to create a slide, of course, because why not? It's fun, right? Uh, we're going to create maybe a pipe, we're going to create stuff like that. So let's start just creating something and see what happens. Alrighty, so we're going to go up to uh, create, we're going to go to plug primitives, let's do a cylinder. Okay, cool. We're going to open the attribute editor, we're going to set this to 40, just so that's opened up. Jump to the top here, select it, go to face, drag select and delete all of that. All right, we're gonna move it over here. We're gonna move it up to, let's say about here, and let's give it some length. All right, so we got that to begin with, right? So what's the second thing we need? Uh, maybe something like a funnel, right? So we're gonna hit uh, Control D to duplicate, W to move up, R to scale down, like so. Go to vertex, select these. We're gonna scale them out like so. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get that pretty close. That should be good, right? You can give it some thickness if you want. I mean, if it looks a little bit better. So control E, let's do 0 0.1, which is fine. We'll do the same with this guy. We'll go to, um, extrude 0 0.1 there you have it then what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of a bend if you will so that bend will be part of this guy so we're going to hit e we're going to rotate it flip it upright like this make sure that's sitting okay we want the same diameter so we're going to move it over here check it from the top view hit four, so we know how big that needs to be. It needs to be the same diameter as this guy right here. And as we're giving it some thickness, we need to uh, consider that, right? We're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it over. Uh, I'm gonna go into face mode and I want to get rid of this right here, actually more than that, this as well. And then this as well. And then we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go to edge, double click, extrude, hit W, push up, and then we'll do the same here. G to repeat, W to pull out. There you go, that looks about right. And let's give that some thickness. Control E, we'll do uh, 0 0.1, that's fine. We'll get this guy in here like this and then push it down just a little. All right, and then let's uh, build in a slide here. So for that, let's see. What we can do is we can take a polygon cylinder Flip it on its side like this. Make sure we have the same diameter. Scale it up a bit. All right, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in here and make sure it's a fit from this end as well. And these sections don't have to be pretty as long as they work, right? You can take all the time you need to make it look nice. So there you go. We're going to go in here. We're going to go to face mode. And we're going to take this right here and delete that. And then we want to get rid of these as well. So hold down the tab key select them and select them, delete those. 
So that's going to be the first section of our slide here. We're going to go to Vertex. We're going to bring that in to about here. And then we're going to go in and we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to move that over here. All right. And we're going to lower that somewhat. Give it kind of a curve like so. And that's going to be our starting point. So select them both. Go to your modeling menu. We're going to go to mesh and uh, combine. Right click at the edge, click and shift, double click, and then click and shift, double click. Go to edit mesh and um, bridge, uh, linear, a uh, smooth path and curve, sorry. And we're going to do 20 subdivisions, should be fine. And we're going to hit bridge. Okay. Now you're going to see this weird green because he lost its connection to the material. It happens all the time. Go back to assign existing material, which will give something that's white. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to go in here. And we're just going to push that color down a little bit. So it looks more like everything else. All right. So that's the first step. And again, it doesn't look pretty. It's not smooth out and all that, but it doesn't matter, right? Okay, so uh, now that we have this, what we can do is we can, for example, hit Control D to duplicate, hit W, move it down, E, rotate it, and try to get it underneath. And this is a simulation. So there is a chance that we need to uh, adjust the position of certain things if it doesn't pan out, but that's part of the fun, right? Okay, so let's bring that down to about here. I think that's a good starting point, okay? So these, we're gonna give some thickness, 0 0.1, okay, cool. And you get the idea, right? You can create all sorts of things. Now, we're gonna take the whole thing in object mode and it is, we just need to get rid of those curves here. That's okay. We don't need them anymore. All right, push that up to about here. I'll keep it nice and central. All right. Okay. Now let's uh, put in a floor. Why not? Hit R, scale it out like so. And now we have our starting point. Okay. So of course, now we need an object, which is going to be a ball. Of course, we're going to hit W. We're going to bring that up and we're going to bring it over here. Look at the position from the top. And it would be kind of cool to not put it in the center because we do have a funnel after all. Right. And uh, yeah, that should be a good fit. I'll make it slightly smaller just in case. All right. Okay, so in my opinion, we have everything we need to make this work, right? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna to go to the FX menu. And uh, under the FX menu, we're gonna to go to Field and Solvers, and I got the ball selected, and with the ball selected, I'm going to create Active Rigid Body. It's active because that's gonna be moving. Everybody, else, uh, everybody, not everybody, everything else is not moving. So we're gonna select everything else, and we're going to go to fields and solvers and we're going to select create passive rigid body. So it's rigid, but it's also passive, right? Now, one more thing we need to do is we need to add gravity to the scene. Otherwise the ball will just sit there, right? So I'm going to select the ball. I'm going to go to fields and solvers and I'm going to click on gravity. Now, everything else should not be affected by gravity. It should just stay there. Otherwise all the parts would fall down. We don't want that. So, uh, what's next is we're going to go to our animation slider. Let's give it, I don't know, um, let's do 500 frames or so. We're going to line it up so we can see what's going on. Let's do it from here. So we got a kind of a good view. All right. And let's see if it works. Let's hit play. Ball is falling through the funnel into the pipe through the slide. That's where it might jump out. No, it does not. And there you have it. Pretty neat, right? Now let's check our animation settings. We're going to click on this guy. 
24 frames per second. Now, we don't want that because that is quite slow. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to play every frame, right? This guy right here. We're going to jump back to frame one. We're going to hit play. Much, much, much faster, as you can see, right? Okay, so now we're going to go back and for some reason the mass is set to one again. Yeah, that kind of makes sense because I jump back. Let's speed that up quite a bit. Play again, very, very fast. Okay, so that's how you can control your scene somewhat, right? And you can change the mass of the ball. You can change the angle of uh, the pipes. You can even change the size of the funnel. You can have all sorts of fun. As long as you have one or multiple items that are active bodies and the others that are passive bodies, you can play around with that, make puzzles, make games, make all sorts of fun things, yeah? So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. If you've got any requests, let me know. And a thumbs up is always appreciated. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.